how to fix duplicate deposits in QuickBooks Online. Hey there, this is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. So a lot of clients, a lot of members of the QuickBooks University run into this issue quite a bit uh, where they go to reconcile the bank statement and they realize that there's a duplicate deposit, uh, meaning the same deposit's been entered twice. And they're unsure how to clear this out. Now, if you do your reconciliation, you just don't check one of them off and it still reconciles. That's what people do, but then you've got these hanging duplicate deposits out there that are never going to clear. Plus, what happens is you end up overstating your income and overstating your cash. And so you want to make sure that you take care of these duplicate deposits. Now, I'm going to show you the most common way that this happens and how to fix it. Okay, so here we are at the home screen of this sample company file. And I'm going to go up and I'm going to reconcile and show you an example here. So if we go to reconcile and we're going to resume, okay, and we are reconciling for the end of April 2023. So if we look down the list of transactions, you're going to see down here there are two deposits from Cool Cars for 1675.52. As you're going through your bank statement, you just see one. And so you have to figure out, okay, how do I get rid of this? So the first thing you need to do is you need to click through and you need to see how each of these was recorded because most likely in, you know, almost every situation that I see, what happens is there's an invoice of payments received against that invoice and then it's deposited to the bank from undeposited funds. So you can see that right here. And then someone, and you know, the same person could do it. I mean, you have a lot going on and it just slips your mind. They also go to the check register and they add 1675.52 as a deposit. Okay, so there's two transactions. One's receiving a payment against the invoice and the other one is just making a deposit directly in the check register. You got to get rid of one. All right, so first and typically that check that or the deposit that comes through the check register is from a bank fee that was not matched to the invoice payment. It was added and that's where the error comes in. It's very, very easy to do. All right, so the first one, let's go to undeposited funds, and we're gonna go to edit, so we can just see this and see what it looks like. So we're gonna see here, okay, so checking, uh, this was a bank deposit, this was checked off. Now, when it's checked off like this, that means that there was a payment. You can see here, type payment, and if we click through, we're gonna see that this was a payment against an invoice. Okay, 1675.52, all right. So let's close this, we'll save and close. So next I wanna go into the other one that was a deposit direct to the register. Okay, so if we go to here, we go to edit, we're gonna see that this was entered just as a deposit, probably just added through the bank feed, 1675.52. Now, if we go to delete this and just click this uh, button here, it's gonna give us an error. Uh, because it will not let us save it without a line item for the deposit. All right, so what we want to do is go down here to more, and we want to delete the transaction. Okay, so you don't necessarily want to do it here. You want to do it down here. So if we click delete, are you sure you want to delete this? Yes. All right, and then we go back down here, and we're going to see that our one deposit is still sitting here. So we can reconcile now and finish it up. All right, so th that's the basics of getting rid of these duplicate deposits. You wanna keep the invoice payments, get rid of the ones that were just erroneously added to the check register, either through bank feeds or you know just manual input, and you should be good to go. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.